Jamie Barling, in for the handoff. What's up, man? Kyle Matson. We're trying to figure out why Brandon Ayuk wants to go to Pittsburgh. <clears throat> Is it like just to play with Mike Tomlin? Uh, it could be. Um, I just don't. It, it's it's Russell Wilson and yeah, Justin Fields. <laughs> Yeah, that's like we're rocking with that's well, my thing has been I, I don't as a wide receiver in particular, I, I don't think I want to go to. I don't think I want to go to a, a a a place that's having a quarterback battle. As a wide receiver, like I want to know who my quarterback is and like, yeah, these guys are battling it out. Russell Wilson, Justin, Justin Fields. Yeah, mm-hmm. like in theory. That's fun. Unless you're a wide receiver, then it's like, wait, we don't have a solidified like number one quarterback yet. Yeah. And and I know they have Russell Wilson listed as one on the depth chart right now, which is fine. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I don't I don't understand that idea either. Other other than, you know, maybe he's close to people on the team. You know, maybe it is Mike Tomlin. um, But Mike Tomlin is not here for your nonsense. Not not speaking specifically of Brandon. I'm speaking of anybody. He is mm-hmm. not. He's not here for the nonsense. Yeah. And like I, I I don't know. Like for a player like Brandon Ayuk, I I just feel like if I was if I was a guy looking to make my place in the in the NFL on mm-hmm. the offensive end, I want to play for Kyle Shanahan. That's or Andy Reid. Sure. And, and that's not a knock on what Mike Tomlin does offensively. That's just not what Mike Tomlin is known for. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mike Tomlin is a is a. I mean, he is a he is a coach, mm-hmm. but no one I think ranks him at the top of like offensive geniuses in the league. No. And Kyle is one of those. And like, if I'm a wide receiver, that's who I'd want to play with. And I know there's a lot of different circumstances involving the San Francisco 49ers. Part of mm-hmm. it is, you know, from a fan perspective, it's the, the sheer amount of talent is amazing mm-hmm. from a player perspective. It's like, oh, you know, Debo's getting the ball. Christian McCaffrey's getting mm-hmm. the ball. George Kittle's getting the ball. You got all of these different guys getting the ball, and you're going to run the ball a ton. Elijah Mitchell's going to see the ball who knows how many times. Like, guys mm-hmm. are constantly – the ball is going to be spread out. Like, but if you throw it to me, as the numbers have shown, I'm, I'm going to pay off for it. But I'm going to pay you off for it, but that's not the way the offense works. Right. That's interesting. I, I would also – like, you're dealing with two cast-off quarterbacks, right? These mm-hmm. are guys that the teams that they just played for – one team paid a lot of money to not have that guy on the roster anymore. And the other guy they gave up for what a six round pick. And so for me, I'm not sure that I'm, if I'm Brandon Ayuk, I want to sign a five-year deal to a team that over the last handful of years has put some of the worst quarterbacks in the league under center. Mm-hmm. You think so. Yeah. And so what are they going to do now? Like they don't value it. It feels like they don't value the quarterback position as much as some other teams do, and they don't value the offensive side of the ball as much as some teams do. So it's just weird that they're both question marks. Like I like Justin Fields a lot Mm -hmm. and I actually like Russell Wilson more than others, Mm -hmm. but I also know that Russell Wilson's very clearly on the other side of his career trajectory right right here. And I'm not entirely sure who Justin Fields is. Is he Mm -hmm. the guy from Mm -hmm. Chicago or is he the guy from Ohio state? Like I do not know. Mm -hmm. And (laughs) Again, if if he's an offensive lineman, hey, okay, do do what you want to do. If you're a yeah. running back, whatever. Mm-hmm. But a wide receiver, there's one position on the football field. If I'm a wide receiver, that I do not want question marks about, and it's the quarterback. Mm-hmm. There's no question who's the quarterback in San Francisco. Maybe both options are good in 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 Pittsburgh. Maybe neither one of them are good. I I, I genuinely don't know. I'm rooting for both of them. But that's just not a position I'd want to put myself in if I was Brandon Ayuk. The 49ers, you're mentioning the volume aspect of this. And this is one of my favorite stats from last year. Brandon Ayuk, uh, who finished, what was he, seventh in the league in receiving yards? Yeah, seventh in the league in receiving yards was 36th in targets. Yeah. Um, but to that end, the Pittsburgh Steelers, who trailed in in more games than the 49ers did, threw it 15 more times than the 49ers did last year. And George Pickens had, had 106 targets, had one more target than Brandon Ayuk. Yeah. So I I I'm I don't know, man. I don't I don't get it. I, I just I why not why not Cleveland then? We'll we'll talk obviously more about this when you join us tomorrow because we can really go in depth with this. Yeah. But um w- do you still think there's a chance he signs 
with San Francisco 49ers. I think they're I, I am now leaning more toward that than him getting traded. Yeah, that's what that's 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 what I am. The fact I, that I, we're I, still I think, sitting here, yeah. If they wanted to trade him, it would have been done. I think the 49ers like I, I think we get wrapped up in the uh the NBA's player empowerment. That doesn't really exist in football, even when mm-hmm. things like this happen. It's like, yeah, no, go ahead. Go, go, go yeah. see what's out there for you. Remember, the Ravens did the same exact thing with Lamar Jackson. Mm-hmm. They said, go sign a trade and I'm, or go find a trade. And I believe it's the only time in history where trash ass teams like the Atlanta Falcons were like, yeah, we're not going to trade for Lamar Jackson. We don't want him. We're rolling with this scrub that we got over here and we're going to live in mediocrity for the next six years. But no, no, it's cool. We don't want Lamar. Totally you saw a team after team. And I believe this was an orchestrated attack by the NFL, but correct. that's a, a different that's story correct. for a different time. But in the end, what happened? Lamar got paid by the team he was on. Yep. He didn't get the exact contract he wanted because he wanted a fully guaranteed contract, but he got what was at the time mm-hmm. the richest quarterback contract, the richest NFL contract in history. Yep. So I I ultimately feel like that's how this is going to end for Brandon Ayuk. I do too. I kind of feel the same way. Like I but it could go like we could be totally wrong. This no, of could course, yeah. no blow doubt. up tomorrow. No doubt. You know but, what I mean? Like the in, like instability of the of the whole deal. But what have we been saying about the 49ers the last the last couple of days? Like this is just this is a clown show. This is not and they have for the most part, they've made their mistakes along the way here. No NFL team is perfect, but for the most part, they've been what I would call a good organization over the last half decade or so. Yeah. Trading Brandon Ayuk now for pennies on the dollar is a bad organization move. And that's why I can't, I, 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 I've I looked over the Steelers roster and I've looked over what the Niners need and what there's no, it doesn't match up. The Steelers are willing to give, give up these X amount of guys. And the Niners are like, no, we want one of these three guys or four guys or whatever it is. And I don't see why the Steelers would trade one of those guys. If that makes sense. No, it makes complete sense. Like they're not giving up TJ Watt for Brandon Ayuk. Mm-hmm. And that's the whole thing with the Niners here is that, yeah, if we, if you want to give it, if you want to make us better, yep. great here, yep, he's available. We're trying to win a Super Bowl. Yeah. So your draft pick one year from now, two years from now, three, it doesn't help doesn't us. Happen. Doesn't I happen. need someone who helps us win a Super Bowl. Yes. If you cannot provide that for us, we can't talk. Right. And that's the message that has to be conveyed to Brandon Ayuk and, mm-hmm. and because it, because the, the, the leverage play there in my mind is, if we trade you to Pittsburgh, we don't get anything that helps us win a championship. If that Correct. pisses you off and you don't want to play football, that's fine. We're in the same exact position we would be in if we did the deal with Pittsburgh. Exactly. That's what you said. So Yeah, that's what I was. I stole that from you then. No, no. That's just the right thought. That's what I mean. My man. That's what you said this morning. Yeah, it's like. <laughs> I get all of my 49ers information from NinersWire.com. Go there now Ninerswire.com. and read every article in sight. That is NinersWire.com. We're read doing okay class. this month. We're doing okay. Very good. We're moving, moving, moving the right direction. Uh, yeah, man. I just don't see it. I don't, I don't, I don't see it. I think Brandon Ayuk is a 49er. And if I they do. want to drag this out to give us some content for a while, hey, by all means, do Amen. it. Amen. I'm tired of the content, though. Yeah, Can we get yeah, another team fine. in the mix? Because we're not writing. And that's, but <laughs> oh, that's, that's no, but that's, nah, a, that, yeah, yeah. that's the thing. And, and we got to go here. But that's, that's the thing is the Niners and Steelers are, are in talks about what? About what? Just They're say, in talks. Yeah, well, Kyle and Mike are how, friends. How, just how's it going? How hard is it to get on the phone and go, hey, these are the guys we're willing to give up. These are the guys we want. Uh, okay, let's see. Let's. There's not that much back and forth to happen. Well, but, mm. yeah, but you do have to have a back and forth There's because there's multiple things at play. Four days? Well, that's different. <laughs> yeah, that's different. All right. That's Damian Barling. Uh, he's coming up with D'Lo and KC. Me and James will be back tomorrow with the Insider, sponsored by Jiffy Lube at 10 a.m., on ESPN 1320, Sacramento Sports Leader. Until then, drink water and be nice to people. Bye.